Ole, 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 ole. <laughs> live from New York, it's Saturday night. Gang, gang. Maybe Saturdays aren't as lively lately, but some days you have to celebrate the small things. And I'm here, and you're there. It's Saturday. I say that's something to celebrate. Also, Saturday Night Live is going live tonight in a new way. It's different, so check that out. Yeah. Uh, you know what else it is? It's Information Day. What's Information Day? Check the calendar. April 11th is 411. That means information. Here, at least. But really, every day is Information Day at HQ, where the more you've learned, the more you've earned. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> you better believe we're doing the quiz thing tonight with the usual devious dozen questions between you and tonight's prize money. Go the distance tonight, and you can go shopping tomorrow. Just, just keep the shopping online for now. Yeah. And it's a big weekend size prize, too. We got $5,000. Ooh wee! Yes, we're gonna be awarding that in mere minutes. So if you wanna unlock your share, 12 questions are the only key you shall need. Sound like I'm sending you on a magical quest or something. <laughs> but it's not just about getting rich here. HQ is addressing the need along with the greed because everyone has a part to play during this coronavirus situation. And we're stepping up to help everybody we can. We're giving this help by matching tonight's prize money in a donation to Detroit Senior Solution, serving older adults, adults with disabilities, and caregivers in and around Detroit, one of the hardest hit cities by the virus. The virus' disproportionate impact on the African-American community is making itself more known every day. And in a situation that still threatens to get even worse tomorrow than today, the heroes at DSS are being the best solution we have right now. Shout out to them! They deliver meals by the thousands. They do wellness checks. They take care of, of the Motor City's aging population. And they're at DetroitSeniorSolution.org. So check them out. And maybe make a donation yourself because they sure can't do it alone. You know what I'm saying? So check them out. DetroitSeniorSolution.org. All right, we got some shout outs tonight. First, a big shout out to the beasts from UPenn. Uh, keep being great people. Yeah. All right, also a birthday shout out to Ben, Sam, and Max, who today are all turning the exact same age. How do I know? Because they're triplets. And they told us that playing HQ together is helping them stay sane during these rough times. Yeah. I wonder how that works. Do they all answer the same at the same time? That's crazy. <laughs> Or each of them just pick different answers every time. Then they would never win. Uh, <laughs> all right, y'all look ready to me. Why don't we do this, okay? Nothing to it, but to HQ it, let's get it cracking with question number one. Dora the Explorer's monkey sidekick is named for what articles of clothing? Boots, peignoirs, or fedoras? Mmm. If they add a character called Peignoirs, I'll check it out. But for now, Dora gets it done with backpack, map, and boots. Where are we going? Question number two. Where are we going? Question number two. <laughs> 82,037 of you got it right on the first one. Yeah. All right, here we go. Question two. Which way of ordering Waffle House hash browns does not involve adding an ingredient? Covered, scattered, or diced? Talking about the Waffle House, y'all. Yeah, Waffle House. All right, some hash brown eaters like a little gold on top of the white, and others like them nice and crispy brown, which you get by scattering those spuds on the grill. You feel me? Oh my gosh! That question's savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. <laughs> it was savage. Really tricky, what's happening? Okay. Shout out to I had to do that. I've been watching TikToks all day. Oh, somebody stop me. Q3. What was the name of the romance novel published by KFC and starring their mascot? My Colonel, My Companion, Extra Frisky, or Tender Wings of Desire? Like how I said it all sexy like? Yeah, I know I creep myself out too. Okay, I don't care if you date Colonel Sanders, just Make sure you grab a lot of napkins before you get started. This book was given away free on Amazon in 2017, starred the Colonel as a handsome sailor with a mysterious past, and was called Tender Wings of Desire. Oh yeah, Tender Wings of Desire. My love is on fire, like a spicy thigh. 
original recipe. Uh, <laughs> but with a little spice. 18,823. Y'all got that right. Question number three. Question number four is knocking on your door. Here we go. What do art experts call unusual about Michelangelo's Pieta sculpture? Proportion, material used, or toes? What's it gonna be? All right, artists gotta art, okay? And sometimes eccentricity creeps into even their famous, famous works, okay? But Mikey was also a Catholic, and he might have been highlighting the supernatural nature of Mary by sculpting her much bigger than Jesus. Proportionally. Proportion! 13,397. Got it right at Q4. Moving on to question number five for the children. Oh! Uh, yeah! Here we are, Q5. Which of these is not a real edition of Monopoly that was sold in stores? Monopoly Mass Transit, Monopoly Token Madness, or Monopoly Voice Banking? What's it gonna be? Get it right and get you some money. All right, no one's worked harder to cope with the video game age than Monopoly. They made console, PC, and mobile versions, added gizmos like voice banking, and celebrated the game itself with token madness. But railroads are the only mass transit. 5,100. Oh my gosh, that's a savage question. Ooh, that question's savage. Really tricky, what's happening? Sorry, I'm gonna do it again if there's another one. Okay, question number six, babies. Which of these achievements did not win a Nobel Prize? Rayon, microloans, or blue LEDs? What's it gonna be? All right, funny thing about LEDs. They're not a white light shining through colored glass. For decades, we've had red and green ones, but blue was so hard that making them won a physics Nobel. And microcredit won for peace, but rayon is just a cloth. 3,064, y'all got that right. Rayon was the answer I was looking for. Let's go to work, shall we? We're halfway through the game, and guess what? It's time for a sanitizer break. Sanitizer break. Give it to me. <laughs> Here's the correct way to wash your hands. I'm gonna teach you right now. If you don't know already, you've been living under a rock, you just woke up, found out we in quarantine today. Uh, <laughs> the five steps to best wash ever. Ready? Wet your hands, lather them up, give them a scrub for 20 seconds. Then you rinse. Get the thumbs, right? All in there. Mm-hmm. Rinse, air dry. I like to air dry. I don't like to touch anything. Just, maybe I do this. Pew, pew. All right, I was gonna make it into a song, but I gave up halfway. I love you! Question number seven, let's get it. A California aquarium keeps its octopuses from getting bored with what? SpongeBob cartoons, races, or puzzles? What was it gonna be? Old school age cuties, let's not start up again about the plural of octopus, okay? All right, apparently they're really smart. They bore easily and really enjoy solving puzzles. Easy ones like unscrewing jars, but still. 3,091, got it right, octopuses! <laughs> yeah. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great! Woo What's up, Nate? How you living? All right now. Question eight, babies, let's go. Which of these is a character in 1982's Tron? Motherboard, pixel, or RAM? It's gonna be. Lock in those answers. Motherboard, pixel, or RAM? All right, in 1982, only nerds understood computers. And you could get away with naming characters any old thing that sounded computery. Like naming an individual program, not a random access memory device. RAM. RAM is the answer. The answer is RAM. 2,517 got it right at question number eight. Question number nine, right on time. Fine like wine, so divine. Hope you're feeling fine. Here we go. Q9, a map that is distorted to show population density or another variable is called what? Choropleth map, Galbraith map, plot, or cartograph? Choropleth map, Galbraith plot or cartogram? 
Oh boy. So many ways to display data that you can surely find the one to support conclusions that you want, you know? But if you're squashing and squeezing the US so that it looks like this, take a look. Whether you gain followers or not, that's definitely a cartogram. 2,270, got it right. Cartogram at Q9. Question number 10, time to get it in, my friends. Let's go to work. <laughs> Here it is, question 10. A women's fashion line that Kanye West debuted in 2011 shares its initials with what phrase? Yucky gowns, dissatisfied women, or mammoth ego? All right, we're having some fun with Kanye, who's a genius and a great sport. By all means, wear his clothes if you like them, okay? And to be fair, the initials that start DW Kanye West are for um, Kanye's late mother and manager, Donda West, not dissatisfied women. <laughs> oh, 1977! 1,997 players got it right at Q10. Two more questions between you and uh, your share of $5,000, okay? Let's get it. Question 11, all dogs go to heaven. In what city's Summer Olympics was it found that the women's gymnastic vault was much too low? Barcelona, Sydney, or Atlanta? They needed to raise that vault, it was too low. Gymnastics is an extremely high precision sport. So how nuts is it that when the vault, the thing that you run at and hit the springboard and then, you know, go over, was five centimeters too low. Explain it to the athletes who fail, okay? If you're on the Sydney 2000 co committee. Yes, 988 players are moving on to the final question of the evening. Question 12, the final round. You've got to spank it if you want to bank it. <laughs> question 12, babies. Let's go for all the marbles. Here we are. We made it to the end. Q12. The Johnny Cash hit, A Boy Named Sue, was inspired by the writer of what? Steal this book, The Music Man, or A Christmas Story? All right, The Man in Black was one of the great American songwriters. However, A Boy Named Sue was a Shel Silverstein composition based on the experience of Shel's friend, Gene Shepard, who co-wrote and narrated A Christmas Story. If you picked a Christmas story, oh my God, that's a savage question. That was savage. Final question, what happened? 166 of you just won HQ trivia, baby. Shiggity bing bing. And a shiggity boo. Working on some catchphrases. <laughs> oh boy, that was crazy. Nice little chunky prize right there for y'all. Come on, get with it. We have 165 winners. Everybody's $30.30 richer. Johnny H12, Court Mick, Durkin Fam, Jack Reek, Mint Man, Mighty Murr, Vil, EMT Plus, uh, Music John, Caleb Wan, yes you did, uh, Chupa Joob. <laughs> Henny, yo! I just learned how to say I'm going home in Croatian. Uh, if you're in Croatia and you're telling somebody that you're going home, it's Edom Kuchi. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not making that up. Edom Kuchi means I'm going home in Croatian. <laughs> what? Crazy. Wow. Who said staying home on a Saturday wasn't exciting? That's another one on the HQ books. Why don't we celebrate with another one tomorrow night? As always, I'm your boy, Matt Richards, okay? And I'll be here if you'll be there. Stay safe, wash your hands. You know the drill. HQ, baby! $30 on a Saturday? What? <laughs>